Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Would you please be seated? Lord Lieutenant, High Sheriff, Mr. Mayor, friends, Croiso, welcome. This is a very special day for the Diocese of Flandaf and for its cathedral. Those of you who have traveled some distance and have known Richard for a very long time will know that this is a joyful day for him and for Jim. Welcome, Jim. Um, you know him to be a person of immense, a person of immense personal and spiritual integrity. And uh, you come from all uh, corners of uh, this land and beyond uh, to share our joy with us this afternoon. In Llandaf, we talk about telling the joyful story. And this is indeed a, a joyful day as our cathedral makes a new start with a new dean. Richard, we welcome you as a brother in Christ to minister with us in this cathedral. We remember with thanksgiving all those who have ministered for centuries before you. We recall that ministry belongs to all the baptized and that we all have the privilege and responsibility of sharing Christ's work. We're looking forward to bringing to fruition the vision we share that faith matters. Together we tell a joyful story, grow the kingdom of God and build our capacity for good. It is therefore an appropriate time for us all to dedicate our lives anew and ask for God's guidance and strength to accomplish his work in this community. Bishop June, we present to you Richard Piers to be collated and installed as Dean of this Cathedral Church and as leader of the Llandaff Cathedral Ministry Area. Richard, in the name of all who are gathered here to greet and support you, I welcome you to our Cathedral Church. I invite you to pray with us as we seek God's blessing upon your ministry as its Dean and Ministry Area Leader. So as I pray on our behalf, let us hold a moment where we all together hold Richard in our prayers. Heavenly Father, who anointed your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and with power to bring to the world the blessings of your kingdom, anoint this cathedral church and your servant Richard with the same Holy Spirit that we who share in his suffering and his victory may bear witness to the gospel of salvation. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.
The first lesson is taken from the 24th chapter of the book of Genesis, beginning at the 62nd verse. Now Isaac had come from Beer Lahairoi and was settled in the Negev. Isaac went out in the evening to walk in the field, and looking up, he saw camels coming. And Rebekah looked up, and when she saw Isaac, she slipped quickly from the camel and said to the servant, Who is the man over there walking in the field to meet us? The servant said, It is my master. So she took her veil and covered herself. And the servant told Isaac all the things that he had done. Then Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent. He took Rebekah, and she became his wife, and he loved her. So Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. Here ends the first lesson.
Yma y dechrau'r ail bennod, Epistle, Epistle Saint Paul at y Philippiaid, gan ddechrau yn y chweched adnod. Er ei bod ef ar ffyrdd dyw, ni chyfrifodd bod cydraddoldeb ar dyw yn beth yw gipio, ond fe gwacadd ei hun gan gymryd ffyrdd caethwas a dyfod ar wedd ddynol. Oi gael ar ddeth dyn, fe daros dyngodd ei hun, gan fod yn ibydd hyd angau, ie, angau ar groes. Am hynny, tra dyr chafodd dyw ef, a rhoi iddo'r enw goruwch pob enw, fel wrth iesu, fel wrth enw iesu, y plygau pob blin yn y nef ac ar y ddeiar a than y ddeiar, ac y cyffesau pob tafod fod iesu grist yn arglwydd er gogoniant dyw dad. Yma y terfyn yr ail lith.
Amen. 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 Together we tell a joyful story, grow the kingdom of God, and build our capacity for good. It was late summer 1993. John Major was Prime Minister. I had been ordained deacon just a few weeks and was serving as a curate in Middlesbrough, about as far east as it's possible to go in the north of England. I can't remember when I first heard it, but sometime that September, the Pet Shop Boys released their single, Go West. <laughs> well, it's taken me nearly three decades, but finally I have come west, and I'm very glad indeed to be here. Go West is a happy song. It's just one word from it that I want to begin with today. If you remember, as well as the lyrics of the verses, there is a refrain leading into each line. One simple but profound word. Together. This is a sermon of four words and three songs. I've been a teacher all my life, so I shall be testing you afterwards. <laughs> Together. It is not good for us to be alone. Right at the beginning of the Bible, in Genesis, God makes this clear. The Bible is the story of our not-aloneness. God wants us, you and me, every one of us here, to belong, to be together. Over the coming years, you will hear me use two words quite a lot. Your cathedral. And the most important word is your. Yours if you are a regular worshipper here. Yours if you are part of the Diocese of Llandaff. Yours if you live in this city and this diocese. Yours if you live in Wales and this is your national cathedral. Yours to the people who are, perhaps too often absent, our business leaders, our artists and poets, our politicians, Christians in other churches, members of other faiths, people of no religious faith, together. Together, I hope, for three things for Llandaff Cathedral. First of all, and underlying everything we do, is that this is a place of prayer. On this site, where prayer has been lived for almost 1,500 years. Prayer is my second word for today. This beautiful building is here to be prayed in. Friends, in this diocese, we will pray for you. Yes, the cycle of prayer, but tell us when you have needs for prayer. There is no amount of communication that is too much. Keep in touch with us. From Monday next week, the first Monday in Advent, Father Mark, Mother Jan and I will be celebrating morning prayer and Eucharist every Monday to Saturday at 8 a.m. We will be glad to see you. Pop in on your way into the city or to work. Make a commitment to come on a day each month or join us regularly as we pray for the city, the diocese, the nation. And a special word to my sister and brother priests in this diocese. There is a strange phrase that people sometimes use about deans, as the senior priest of the diocese. Given today's second reading, that is not a phrase I'm particularly fond of. But I think the role of a dean is clear. It is my task to love you. Not just my task, but my joy. In our prayer here, we will be holding you in love in your ministries, the ministry of all the baptized. My favourite definition of love is Simon Weil's, to love is to pay attention to. Dear sisters and brothers, I will pay attention to you. Come and join us at our prayers here at your cathedral. Come and have a coffee afterwards. You are at home here. 
Prayer is a churchy word for a simple thing, to be in relationship with Jesus. The first reading we've just heard is my favourite in the whole of the Bible. Isaac is walking in the cool of the evening. The RSV has it that he was meditating in the cool of the evening, praying. This is the only passage in the Bible where we hear of someone falling in love. And he loved her, and he was consoled after his mother's death. To pray is to be in love with Jesus, to see him and know him. To pray is not difficult or strange, it is normal life. It is all the most intense moments of our lives, falling in love, to give birth, to make friends, to do anything that is more than just us ourselves, to be bigger than ourselves. To pray is to recognize that it is in all our loving, as husbands, wives, friends, par partners, parents, brothers, sisters, that God makes himself known to us. My next word is beauty. When I was a head teacher in Lewisham, we adapted some words of St. Augustine of Hippo as our school motto. God is beauty. Deus pulchritudinis. This is a beautiful building. The music is beautiful. The worship here is beautiful. I watched every moment of the recent royal visit. It was breathtakingly wonderful. When we see beauty, we see God. My hope, my prayer, is that this cathedral will be a place where the visual arts will find a home. Not just the art of the past, but the art of now. The ways in which we make sense of the present. My final word for the ministry of this cathedral is space. Life is busy. The world is busy. We need space. We need spaciousness. A cathedral is not just a bigger church. A cathedral is a public space. My ministry as dean will be to create a space for all faiths, a space for politicians, a space where we meet, where we talk, where we listen. This isn't my first address here in this cathedral. In 2019, I spoke here about the hymn we will sing in a few moments, the hymn known as Guahodiad, the welcome, the invitation. It is a wonderful hymn because it is Jesus-centered and utterly evangelical. Er, uh, yesi, to Jesus. Jesus welcomes, Jesus invites. Mi gloiaf dener lais an galo arna vi. I love those lines. We are the ones who have heard the tender voice calling us to baptism, to ordination, to Christian living. And we are called to enable others to hear that tender voice. They will do so when we talk about Jesus without embarrassment. When we model for all believers a natural, unforced evangelism to the 97% who don't go to church, who have not heard that voice. Four words and three songs. Together, prayer, beauty, space. Go west, Gwahodiad. My final song, the B side. Do you remember those? The B side of Go West. I wonder if anybody actually knows what the B side of Go West was. Nobody's putting a hand up. It's a lovely song called Shameless. As your dean, I will be shameless. May we all be shameless in talking about our friend Jesus. May we be shameless in Guahodiad, inviting our sisters and brothers to a space where justice reigns, where we meet in peace, where we share in prayer, beauty, and space. A yesizen vai naguad, a therben gudaisant, Fyth gobaith cariad pier ached a phobriwn e volfrant. 
it is Jesus who invites us to receive with his saints faith, hope, pure love and peace and every heavenly privilege. Amen. We've come to that part of the service where we actually make Richard the Dean of Llandaff. And just before uh, we do, um, I want to pay tribute and give thanks to all of my colleagues in uh, the cathedral who have held with great stability and strength the vacancy that there's been in this place. Um, I know, Richard, you will join with me in wanting to pay tribute 
Uh, and not least amongst all those um, staff, volunteers, congregation, there is the Archdeacon of Margam who stepped in to be acting dean. He fulfilled his uh, oath of canonical obedience to the bishop. Uh, I'm not sure it was with a great enthusiasm at first, but he has been an outstanding acting dean. Mike, um, I'm sure there is nobody in the building happier uh, than you to see Richard become <laughs> dean of Llandaff today. Um, and I give you my thanks uh, as you return to your duties in your archdeaconry. Thank you very much indeed. Richard, before you are commissioned as Dean of this Cathedral Church and Ministry Area Leader, do you, before God and this congregation, renew your dedication to Christ as a priest in the Church of God? I do. Will you preach God's word, celebrate the sacraments of the new covenant, and care for God's people after the example of Jesus, the Good Shepherd, to carry forward the mission and ministry of this cathedral? With the help of God, I will. Will you endeavour to serve the Mother Church of this diocese in its ministry of prayer, pilgrimage and welcome? With the help of God, I will. As the senior priest in this diocese, will you play your part in its leadership, mission and ministry? With the help of God, I will. Will you seek to witness to the Christian faith in this city of Llandaff, Cardiff and beyond? With the help of God, I will. You can have a look into Richard's eyes as you answer this question. Brothers and sisters in Christ, will you who witnessed the beginning of Richard's ministry in this place support and uphold him? Amen. The Church in Wales is part of the one holy Catholic and apostolic church, worshipping the one true God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. It professes the faith uniquely revealed in the Holy Scriptures and set forth in the Catholic creeds, which faith the Church is called upon to proclaim afresh in each generation. Led by the Holy Spirit, it has borne witness to Christian truth in its historic, historic formularies, the 39 Articles of Religion, the Book of Common Prayer, and the ordering of bishops, priests, and deacons. Richard, in the declaration you are about to make, will you affirm your loyalty to this inheritance of faith as your inspiration and guidance under God in bringing the grace and truth of Christ to this generation and making him known to those in your care? I do solemnly declare my belief in the faith which is revealed in Holy Scripture and set forth in the Catholic creeds, and to which the historic formula is, namely the 39 Articles of Religion, the Book of Common Prayer, and the ordering of bishops, priests, and deacons, as published in 1662, bear witness. And in public prayer, and in the administration of the sacraments, I will use only those forms of service which are allowed by lawful authority and none other and I hereby undertake to be bound by the constitution of the Church in Wales, and to accept, submit to, and carry out any sentence or judgment which may at any time be passed upon me by the Archbishop, a diocesan bishop, or any court or the tribunal of the Church in Wales. I do solemnly declare that I will pay true and canonical obedience to the Bishop of Llandaff and her successors, in all things lawful and honest. So help me God. Now Richard has to uh, sign uh, those declarations before I read uh, the license under which he exercises his ministry.
June by Divine Providence, the Bishop of Llandaff. Richard Charles Pierce, Bachelor of Education, Master of Arts, Bachelor of Theology, Clerk in Holy Orders. You have been called to work together with us as your bishop, as a pastor, priest and teacher, and to take your share in the councils of the church. Now in accordance with the constitution of the church in Wales, you have been appointed to serve God as Dean of Llandaff Cathedral. This document recognises that, having made the declarations required in the Constitution, we have licensed you as Dean of Llandaff Cathedral, and that we have committed to you the sharing of the care of the parishioners of the parish, and to carry out all the work of a priest, and authorise you to administer the holy sacraments in the parish. You are fully empowered to exercise this ministry accepting its privileges and the responsibilities of a priest in this diocese. Having committed yourself to this work, do not forget the trust of those who have chosen you. Care alike for young and old, strong and weak, rich and poor. By your words and in your life, proclaim the gospel. Love and serve Christ's people nourish them and strengthen them to glorify God in this life and in the life to come. Keep before you as the pattern of your calling, Jesus Christ, who came not to be served, but to serve. Study his teaching and meditate upon it, that you may encourage his people in the way of holiness. Guided by the Holy Spirit, Pray constantly that your life may be a pattern of obedience and holiness and so reveal the power of the kingdom. May the Lord who has given you the will to do this work give you the grace and power to perform it. Given under my hand an episcopal seal this 20th day of November in the year of our Lord, 2022. Richard received this license to minister in this cathedral and ministry area of Llandaff and to exercise pastoral and spiritual care within it in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Richard, I anoint you in the name of God who gives you life. May the love of the Father enfold you, the wisdom of the Son enlighten you, the fire of the Spirit inflame you, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Archdeacons, I present to you the letters mandatory of June, Bishop of Llandaff, and I ask you to install me into the seat assigned to me as Dean of this Cathedral and leader of the Llandaff Cathedral Ministry area. Richard, we as the Archdeacons, and on behalf of the Cathedral Chapter, accept these letters mandatory of June, Bishop of Llandaff and will install you as Dean of this Cathedral Church and leader of this ministry area. Okay, 
As archdeacons and on behalf of the cathedral chapter, we welcome and induct you into the deanery and install you in the place assigned to you in this cathedral church with all its rights and privileges. I also induct you as the ministry area leader. May the Lord preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we joyfully celebrate the arrival of our new Dean. Let us pray. Almighty God, in Christ you make all things new. Lives make known your heavenly glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Loving Heavenly Father, you call us to grow in your kingdom. Help us to tell a joyful story and to build your goodness in our world. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please stand. We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit we were all baptised into one body. Let us pursue all that makes for peace and strengthens our common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let us offer one another some sign of Christ's peace. Well done. We've got the beautifully warm hands. Very cold hands.
with you, let us pray. Inspired by the Spirit of God, we make our prayers to the Father through Jesus Christ, our crucified Redeemer. We pray for the Church in every place and all with whom we share a common baptism. May all Christians be faithful to the call of their baptism, passionate in fulfilling God's mission to his world, and humble in serving the whole human race. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for Richard, that he may be strengthened and sustained by the needful gifts of your grace, as he leads the church in this place and the wider diocese. Bless his partner, Jim, and make their home a place of refreshment for them and hospitality to others. And grant that the prayers of the people of God may encourage and inspire them in their life and ministry. Lord, in your mercy, We pray for Bishop June as she prepares for her retirement, giving thanks that she has inspired us with the joy of the gospel. We pray for all those involved in the election of our next bishop, that the person chosen may be blessed with wisdom and insight, compassion and love, and hold before us the pattern of our calling, Jesus Christ, the Good Shepherd. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for God's world in all its piercing pain and breathtaking beauty. We remember before God those who are scarred by the trauma of violence and oppression, especially as a result of the war in Ukraine or civil war and terrorist insurgency in so many parts of the world. We hold up to God those who have been driven out of their homes, their communities and nations. And closer to home, we pray that he will enfold with his arms of compassion all who now suffer as a consequence of the cost of living crisis and crippling energy costs. May God's church respond to all in need in love and with the gift of hope. Lord, in your mercy, We pray for those who take risks for peace and reconciliation, and for those who build bridges of trust and friendship between diverse cultures and faith traditions. We remember before God those who encourage us to listen to the voices of the outsider, the poor and the persecuted, and all who work to heal wherever division and indifference destroys hope for the future. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for those who cannot be with us today but join their prayers with ours. We pray for all who travel and who are far from those whom they love. For those whose lives are diminished by illness and for those who care for them. Lord, in your mercy. And in the silence of this holy place, let us now commend ourselves, one another, and all the peoples of the earth to the mercy and love of God. Lord, 
in your mercy. Amen. Together, we say the words of the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. peace of God which is beyond all understanding. Guard your hearts in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ. Abendith du hohoyog, atad amab arosbred glan, avonech plith achadrigo, gadachwi anwastad. <laughs> 